well now we need to see what arrays now insertion is completed now we need to see arrays right see here easy only that is set int s1 is equal to let's take 19 37 42 65 50 okay 5 cannot be there no 94 some elements are here now what i am trying to do you know if i can tell s1 dot arrays no s1 dot arrays of 42 see whenever i am telling s1 dot arrays of 42 if 42 element is there in the set we are deleting it if it is not there we are not able to delete it right we really don't know so what happens 19 will come 37 will come 42 will come oh sorry 42 is deleted no so 65 will come 94 will come i hope this is very clear this is the first version second version now i am talking listen auto it is equal to s1 dot begin now it is pointing to the first location right let us take there only s1 dot arrays of it what is the meaning it is pointing to which location the data should be deleted so what happens here 37 42 65 94 this is what erasing at the first location next what third one let us take r2 it1 is equal to s1 dot begin r2 it2 is equal to s1 dot begin now what will i tell plus plus it2 plus plus it2 plus plus it2 so from here plus 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 it2 is pointing here it1 is pointing here so instead of this what can write here advance it2 comma 3 also you can write down it's all your wish right next what can i do s1 dot arrays of it1 comma it2 so what happens here the elements from it1 to it2 are erased so what is erased 19 is erased 37 is erased 42 is erased and it2 is exclusive so what are the elements present in the set now 65 and 94 i hope this is very clear right fine so we are having in erasing a particular element erasing a value at a given iterator and we are able to erase the values in a range next we will see remaining small things right let us take same thing if i can take s1 dot size how many elements are there here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So answer is 5. Next time I am writing S1 dot empty. Now tell, is this empty? No. Empty is not there, so it will return 0. Completed. Next what I will write? S1 dot clear. If I write S1 dot clear, what happens? All the elements are cleared. So what is the proof? Now I am writing S1 dot empty. So 1. Or else you can write S1 dot size. Then answer will be 0, right? Fine. So size will give you the size of the set empty will test the set is empty or not if it is empty it will return one if it is not empty it will return zero fine next clear means clear the all elements similarly if you're having two sets s1 and s2 if you can take s1 dot swap of s2 what happens s1 content is coming to s2 s2 content is coming to s1 that is also what swap we don't have reverse we don't reverse the set anyhow right there is no need of reversing a set understand and sorting also not needed on a set. Why? Already the data in the set is sorted, right? That is the reason sorting is not needed. I hope this is very clear. Next, we are having some other functions. Next, I will discuss that. Next, we are trying to see next things, right? Next, next function in the set. See, this will be little important to understand. Let us take set int s1 is equal to 10 20 30 40 50 okay fine now what i'm trying to do you know s1 dot find of 30 whenever i am writing s1 dot find of 30 if 30 is there find will return iterator to 30 if 30 is there find will return iterator to 30 it will return iterator to 30 right next how can i do that auto 
it this is the first thing is equal to let us take another thing auto it is equal to s1 dot find of 70 now tell 70 is there or not there not there so it will return iterator to end it will return iterator to end so how do you do this here if it not equal to s1 dot end see out search success else see out search not success we are finding a particular element in a set here what if it not equal to s1 dot n instead of writing like this search i can write what what can you please tell see out this is the first program this is the second program i am talking see out found simply i can write like this also right else see out not found now listen carefully very important part see s dot find of 30 30 is there now it will contain what this iterator which is not equal to end so answer we are going to get what search success this is the completed this story is completed next come here s1 dot find 70 70 is there no 70 is not there so now it will contain what it will contain end end not equal to end is false so we are going to get what not found so whenever you want to search an item from a set from a set we use a font function next there is another function which is similar to this but little difference is there understand let us take s1 dot count of same thing 30 now tell 30 is there yes if 30 is there it will return 1 1 means what 1 means what true true 1 means true if you write s1 dot count of 70 it will return what 0 right so count see strictly speaking by terminology wise count count means what we people are thinking how many 30s are there here right it's not that way why because every element in the set is present only once every element in the set is once duplicates are not there then some people are thinking sense there is no sense of finding the count right yes there is a sense if there is no sense why the people will introduce now we will explain that understand here also we are trying to find the element here also we are trying to find the element then what is the difference you need to understand listen carefully see whenever we are searching an element just you are interested to search an element then i can use count but once you found the element from there you need to do some job from there you need to do some job you cannot use count why where you found the element from there what job you need to do you don't know right let us take wherever you found 30 after 30 you need to insert 31 after 30 you need to insert 31 understand if 30 is there then only i need to insert 31 that is my business requirement can you do it here no no but can you do it here yes i can do how do i do that i can write what auto it is equal to what s dot find of 30 yes 30 is there then what can i do simply i can write s1 dot insert of s1 dot insert of it comma 30 if it not equal to s1 dot end i hope this is very clear 31 right see i already told id is int id is int right see when one object is there the related object i want to insert when the object is not there related object i don't want to insert can you do it here no why see here if you want to do how do you do it here if if let us take this is x equal to x is equal to equal to 1 s1 dot insert you don't have any iterator you don't have any iterator simply you need to write 31 understanding my point right here also you can do that but strictly speaking whenever you tell 31 
where 31 should come, I don't know. I'll start searching from here and I'll go. Means it will take more time. Here also insertion possible. Why condition is it true? Then insertion is possible. But here it takes less time, right? See, already I am returning 30. If I want to place 35, okay, 30, 35 can be placed here. If I tell 35, uh, for 25, I'll place this side. That's very easy, right? This is an int. Using int, I can do the job faster, right? Without int, you cannot do. If I don't tell the hint i need to start searching from where and i need to see somewhere 31 should be there understand try to see when should i use count just if your requirement is for searching then you can use what count but if your requirement is based on the search do some other job based on the search do some other job at that position or at some position then i'll use what find find and insert generally we have sometimes right sometimes we'll be doing only searching sometimes we'll do what find and replace also right so in that kind of situations we are going to use what uh, we are going to use this type of things right fine i hope this is very clear so with this we have completed set there are some other interesting points we need to discuss anyhow